Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a review on the 13 inch MacBook Air. Now this is the i7 model purchased at Apple.com for $1,700. If you get the i7 up, uh, upgrade it's $1,700 or you can get um, models starting at $1,000 for the 11 inches and around $1,300 for the 13 inch. So Apple updated the MacBook Air models last week when they released Lion, as well as taking out the just regular MacBooks. So now you have to either make the choice between MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. So you, we can show you some of the changes. Now the ports are, they have the um, power port, USB, um, audio, mic, and on the other side we have SD card, uh, second USB, and then the new Thunderbolt port. port which works with the new monitors and is basically um, a revolutionary um, version of Firewire. Now you'll notice that there is no CD drive. This is, as always, the same on MacBook Airs, or at least no optical drive. Uh, you can buy the external CG CD drive for an additional $70 or so. Yep. And, and we're going to go ahead and open it up. So, as you can see, it will turn on pretty much immediately, and that's because it's made uh, with a SSD, solid state drive and it can do um, average tasks extremely fast. Second thing you might notice is that it, it came back with the lit up keyboard so the new generation, third generation of Airs uh, have the brought back the back the keyboard for um, everyone using it. And now, that, now that was just coming back from sleep that wasn't booting up. We'll show you how quickly it boots up later. And um, another feature is it comes uh, pre-installed with Lion and as you notice it has stuff like a um, launch pad button and some unique things to align but you don't even have to pay the thirty dollars for it it comes with that pre-installed and now I'll show you a quick test of how fast Safari is and how fast SSD can do on average tasks so we can open up Safari right now and it opened up the page extremely fast I have to say that average tasks this is way faster than my two-year-old computer also note that this is the highest model end though so if we're getting a lower one, it might take a little more time. We'll try loading up uh, our channel. It should go really fast. And within a second or two, the video is playing. So that's just um, an average speed test. And now we're going to be comparing it with the MacBook Pro 13 inch um, model that came out this year. Note that not all the speed advantages that this has are because of the SSD. It is a much faster processor and everything from previous models. But the SSD does help a lot with launching applications as well as booting up. So we're going to go ahead and shut down the MacBook Air now and compare the booting up speed with uh, my MacBook Pro. This is the highest end, this is going to be the highest end 13 inch MacBook Pro uh, just purchased from the Apple online store as well. So I believe it, ha it has the i7 cores like the MacBook Pro, but the one difference is that this does not have an SSD. And so that's going to give it a slight disadvantage uh, as far as booting up is concerned. However, so, it does run um, hard tasks a lot faster as it has a better processor overall. So here we've got the two computers and we're going to go ahead and put the power buttons in 3, 2, 1. And you can see right there the gray screen comes up much faster, Apple comes up faster, and in a few seconds, it's that's really all it takes for the MacBook Air to boot up. You can see we're already back at the login screen, whereas it takes until well after that for the little spinning wheel to even appear. One thing that caught my eye on the MacBook Air is the screen resolution is a lot better than the Pro, at least the one I've been using a few years ago. You can see it's sort of like the matte screen combined with the glossy screen as you have a nice finish around the sides and it doesn't reflect that much however it still has its nice shine and works really uh, nice and so there you can see much later we have uh, my MacBook booting up to the main screen and opening up all the stuff it does on login so you can see MacBook Air performs much faster at booting up because of the SSD as well as other uh, tasks it'll launch applications much quicker but overall, it's a really great computer. The one drawback is it does not have quite as much storage, and it's slightly less powerful. It comes with uh, no CD drive, and it can't do extremely hard tasks, and it's definitely not made for that. But it's a very good, portable, lightweight, 
Uh, a lot of people have said it's like Apple's competitor to the netbook because it is very portable, very lightweight. Um, but that's basically the overview we have here. Uh, if you want to see more videos, you can go and check out Apple's website. You can also purchase them over there or in the Apple Store. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and as always, please subscribe.